Hey there gang, this is the Mimeo guy here, and today we're going to be taking a closer look at the Mimeo Teach interactive whiteboard system from Dymo and how it compares to the older Mimeo XI interactive whiteboard system. Before we talk about the Mimeo Teach, let's take a look at the Mimeo XI. Folds up for easy portability, uh, powers off of either AC power, USB power, or using AA batteries in the back of the bar. In here you'll find the wireless receiver, the Mimeo XI provided wireless capabilities through a removable module located on the bottom of the bar. So you could easily convert this from a wired interactive whiteboard system to a wireless system simply by adding a new module. Attachment, the Mimeo XI would attach to a dry erase board and make it interactive using four suction cups or using a set of adhesive clips or magnetic clips that were included in the package. Looking down here at the Mimeo XI stylus pen, you can certainly see the visual differences in these two, but what you may not see is how the device powers itself. This has changed. The older Mimeo XI required a AA battery. This was a user replaceable battery with exceptional battery life. I'm uncertain what the exact specs are, but it would last many, many months before needing to be replaced. If you choose to use a rechargeable battery, you certainly could. On the front of the Mimeo XI, you'll notice there are a variety of buttons up here. Buttons for calibration, new page, copy page, indicator lights, power buttons, things of that nature. So let's go on ahead and take a look at the Mimeo Teach and see how it's changed for this new line of users. So you can see the Mimeo Teach no longer folds up like the Mimeo XI. However, in its overall length, it is a little bit shorter than the Mimeo XI was. Attachment has also changed. Magnets are now integrated into the back of the Mimeo Teach that allows it to attach easily to any standard dry erase board that's magnet ready. Should your dry erase board not accept magnetic capabilities, included in the package are these small metal adhesive brackets. These brackets attach to your whiteboard using these adhesive strips and then the Mimeo Teach will snap securely in place. Like the Mimeo XI, the Mimeo Teach still incorporates a battery compartment allowing you to power the device when running wirelessly off of three AAA batteries. The Mimeo XI required four AA batteries. Functionally, the two devices are very similar. They both use ultrasonic and infrared communication to track the pin's, pin's position on the board. You'll notice on the lower part of the Mimeo Teach, the, a vast majority of the buttons have been removed and have been replaced by two much easier to use, much easier to understand buttons. We have one single calibration button at the top. This is for uh, to calibrate the device whenever it's attached to the whiteboard, and then a quick launch button. When pressed, this button will launch a quick quick launch menu on your computer and allow you to select from a multitude of different tools. Also changing this year is the new Mimeo Teach stylus. You'll notice the stylus pen is a bit smaller than the Mimeo XI pen. It's a little more ergonomic, has replaceable tips, and incorporates a rechargeable battery on the back. This pen now nests very neatly in the side of the Mimeo Teach and sits there charging until you're ready to take the pin out and start using it up on the whiteboard. Again, functionally, these two devices are very similar. They attach to any standard dry erase board and using a projector will turn that standard dry erase board into a fully interactive whiteboard. If you have any questions at all, you should visit www.mimeo.com to take a look at these products or arrange for an on-site demonstration. Until next time, this is the Mimeo Guy.